June 9th is Global Maintenance Day, an international day that's dedicated to recognising the crucial role that maintenance plays in every industrial sector. And to honour this special day, Airbus put out a detailed article giving readers behind-the-scenes insight into the repair of a severely damaged Austrian Airlines A320 NEO. With information coming from Airbus, we go through the repair of this airframe for today's video. April 6th, 2024. That's where our story begins. It was on this day at Vienna's airport that the Austrian Airlines A320neo registered Oscar Echo Lima Zulu Quebec rolled backwards from a remote stand and collided with airport infrastructure. As detailed by Planespotters.net, the right wing struck a light pole and the right horizontal stabilizer struck a jet bridge, causing the stabilizer to separate from the fuselage. The aircraft was stored at Vienna from the date of the incident, April 6th, and wouldn't emerge until March 23, 2025. It then returned to service on March 28th. So, what did it take to get the severely damaged A320neo successfully back into service? Well, as Airbus explains, when it comes to aircraft maintenance, repairing structural damage or replacing a part, a lot of coordination is required. But Airbus adds that it also requires, quote-unquote, original thinking. The plane maker emphasizes that safety always comes first, and in these situations, Airbus can assemble what it calls a working party. A working party is made up of many specialists, Airbus explains. There are engineers who understand the aircraft's design and repair procedures. There are skilled technicians who perform the work. Inspectors that ensure all work adheres to stringent safety standards and then representatives from the airline or aircraft owner. Airbus reports having a total of eight working party bases around the world. Across these eight bases are 230 expert personnel ready to support airlines and their Airbus jets quickly. The plane maker says that no two working parties are the same. The project, the problem and the location change all the time, and so the composition of the work party adapts to these changes. The team plans every step of the repair, from initial query to release of the aircraft. Team members also ensure the correct parts and tools are available, carrying out the work and meticulously documenting everything. Beyond your average non-Airbus MRO facility, the Airbus Working Party's connections to Airbus's production organization means that they can set up a small-scale logistics center at the repair site. But getting to the specific case of Oscar Echo Lima Zulu Quebec, well, the aircraft had been in service for less than a year when the accident took place. Thankfully, the aircraft had no passengers on board at the time, and no one was injured. Nonetheless, Austrians' hope of deploying the jet on lucrative intra-Europe routes like Vienna-London were altered slightly due to one of its five A320neos at the time being taken out of service in spectacular fashion. Airbus notes that speculation grew as to whether the damaged A320neo could be recovered, but, well, Austrian was willing to give it a shot. And so, upon the request and invitation of Austrian Airlines, the Airbus Working Party team set up shop in Vienna in November 2024. Their first job was to inspect the aircraft together with Austrian Technik in order to establish whether it could be repaired at all. The first phase of inspections were said to have taken five days, and this was followed by secondary, more detailed inspections. After an extensive evaluation, the answer was determined to be yes, the aircraft was repairable. An Austrian Airlines executive notes that cost was an obvious determining factor as to whether repair was even worth it, but Airbus was able to provide the airline with estimates. Nonetheless, the aircraft's horizontal stabilizer, right aileron and rear pressure bulkhead would have to be replaced. All in all, Airbus explains that the job was more of a rebuild than a repair. The task was so complex that it would require sending a team of 30 Airbus specialists from eight different functions to Vienna for as long as necessary to carry out the fix. Roles included mechanics and electricians, and these 30 specialists were said to have come from all over the world. The job would require new tooling, new parts, and even a mini final assembly line. An Airbus representative stated that tooling alone amounted to about 10 metric tons, 
not even including the replacement components themselves. But once everything was in place, the Airbus team and their new Austrian colleagues began to prepare for the many hours of work ahead. In a video about the whole repair process, the Airbus fleet manager at Austrian Airlines is quoted as saying the following. Many people ask, why has the plane been standing for so long and why is it taking so long? Thousands of parts have been installed. Hundreds of pages of documentation have been prepared to ensure that every rivet, every bolt and every spare part has a precise installation and test description. Naturally, this takes a lot of time. The first step was to remove the aircraft's two engines and send them back to Lufthansa. Cabin seats were also removed early in the process, giving repair crews the ability to freely and quickly move around the aircraft's interior. Lavatories and galleys were also moved to provide better access. The actual work began by cutting off the entire rear section of the aircraft. An Airbus team member explains that they had to change the rear pressure bulkhead, something that had never been done before in terms of repair. It was also noted that some parts of the old aircraft were reused after ensuring their integrity. The vertical tailplane was one such component. Many other components, of course, had to be replaced, including those involved in flight control. So, once the critical repairs and component replacements were carried out, the rear pressure bulkhead was reattached, the vertical stabilizer after that, and the horizontal stabilizer after that. Then, of course, the tail cone and auxiliary power unit, or APU, had to be installed. And apart from all the interior cabin seating, the engines were some of the last components to be attached. Airbus says that three months later, the repair was complete and the new rear section was painted in Austrian's red and white livery and the aircraft underwent rigorous flight testing. Oscar Echo Lima Zulu Quebec returned to service in March 2025, just in time for Austrian's summer schedule. So, there you have it. While some may have instantly called the aircraft with such damage a write-off, Airbus specialists found a way to get things repaired. After seeing this, we're definitely wondering about the fate of November 302 Papa Quebec, the Delta Connection slash Endeavour Air CRJ900 that was struck by the wing of an A350. On Planespotters.net, the jet is not listed as scrapped and instead has the status of parked, so maybe there is still hope for this aircraft. Maybe we'll see a similar mini-documentary or explainer article from Delta in a few months. But what do you think of all of this? Were you surprised that such a damaged aircraft could be repaired and returned to service? And do you think there's any hope for the CRJ900? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. Visit simpleflying.com.